In previous lecture, we learned that a function in JavaScript is a first class function. That means a function in JavaScript can be used as any other value. And this also means that you can also return a function from within another function. And that's what we are going to learn in this lecture. So let's start with a very simple function. Let's call it greet. And this function is going to return another anonymous function. And this anonymous function is simply going to log a message in the developer console. So let's say console.log and the message is hello world. Okay. So from so here from this greet function, we are returning an anonymous function. Now, when we call this greet function, it will return this anonymous function. Okay. So what we can do is we can store it in a variable. So let's create a variable x and let's store the returned function in this x variable. When we log this x variable, you will see that this x is actually storing the definition of the returned anonymous function. So when we refresh the page, you can see that this variable x is storing this function definition. And to execute this returned function, you can simply use parenthesis on this variable x like this. And it will execute this returned anonymous function. So now when we save the changes, when we refresh the page, you can see it has executed that and it has logged this message in the developer console. So this is one way of executing a returned function. Another way is you can call this greet function. So this greet function is going to return this anonymous function. And then you can use another set of parentheses to execute that returned function immediately. So this will call this greet function and this greet function is returning this anonymous function. So this anonymous function will be returned. And on that anonymous function, we are using another set of parentheses to execute it. So now when we save the changes and refresh the page, you will see that another set of this hello world is logged here. So here also this anonymous function has been executed by using these two parentheses. So this is another way to execute a returned function from another function. So this is the basic concept of returning a function from another function. Now let's have a look on a more practical example. So let's comment this and let's create another function. So let's create this function and let's call it interview question. And this function is going to take this job parameter. And inside this function, we are going to write three switch cases. So switch and then we pass job here. And based on this job, we are going to construct a construct an interview question based on the based on this job. OK, so case. Let's say job is teacher. OK, so here we want to return a function. And this function will take this name parameter. And inside this function we simply want to log a question for teacher. So let's say what subject do you teach and then name. Okay. And let's also append this question mark. So this is the question for teacher. And finally, we want to return. Okay. Now let's say case or it should be break. We even don't need to use this break because we are simply returning this function. So this break statement will never get executed. So we don't even need that. Okay. So let's write second case and second case is designer. Okay. And let's construct a function. So this, if the case is designer, then we want to return another function. And this function is also going to take this name parameter. 
and inside this function we want to construct a question for designer and the question is first we want to say name and then we want to ask can you please explain what ux design is and let's append this question mark here okay so if the job is designer then for that we did we want to return this function from this interview question function let's have another case and this time we want lawyer and again we want to return a function from here so return function and this function is going to take this name parameter and inside this we want to log a question for lawyer so console.log and again name how long you have been practicing law so this is the question for lawyer and let's give a default case as well so default and again for this default we want to return a function this is also going to take this name parameter and from this function we simply want to log name how are you doing okay so this is our interview question function and based on the job it will return another function from within this function okay so let's use this so let's say um, let's create a variable and let's say let's call this variable teacher question okay and let's call this interview question so interview question and for job let's pass teacher okay so when the job is teacher this function you know this case will be satisfied and this function this anonymous function will be returned from this interview question function and we are storing this returned function in this teacher question variable now to execute this function if you remember we can simply use parenthesis on this teacher question variable like this let's save the changes let's refresh the page and it should log what subject do you teach undefined and this undefined is because this function is also expecting value for this name parameter so let's also pass the value for this name parameter here so let's say name is john let's save the changes now and it should log what subject do you teach john okay so this is one way of calling the returned function now another way if you remember we can use two parentheses two set of parentheses on this interview question so let's say interview question and this time for job let's pass designer okay and let's use another set of parentheses to execute that, that returned function so for designer this anonymous function will be returned from this interview question function okay so this will return us this part will return us this anonymous function and on that if we use the second set of parentheses then this returned anonymous function will also get executed immediately okay and this function is expecting value for this name parameter so let's pass mark and now let's save the changes let's refresh the page and it will log mark can you please explain what ux design is okay so it has called that function and executed it immediately let's call this interview question again and this time let's pass lawyer so lawyer and for name let's pass mary let's save the changes let's refresh the page 
and marry how how long you have been practicing law so this is working as expected okay so this interview question is returning a function based on these cases okay so based on these cases a function will be returned from this interview question function and then we can either store it in a variable and then call it like what we are doing here or we can simply use two set of parentheses and then we can pass the value for the parameters so here this designer we are passing this parameter for this interview question function okay i mean we are passing this designer for the parameter of this interview question function and in the second set of parentheses we are passing this mark for the parameter of the returned function okay so this topic this returning a function from another function is a very simple topic there is nothing complex to understand here so i hope this lecture has helped you understand that how we can return a function from within another function and how it can be useful now it might take you some time to you know get used to writing such programs but once you get used to it you will you know it will be very easy for you to write these type of programs so here in this example we are you know based on the case we are simply returning a function which is logging a simple message in the developer console but you can write complex functions okay and return that function based on these cases and then you can use it later if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends